Hi, uh, great to uh, be with you again. Thanks for your company. Colossians chapter one, and uh, we've reached verse seven a couple of times already, uh, just in the, the last um, what four days, that since we started looking at Colossians, I've mentioned the name of Epaphras as the one who took the gospel into the community of Colossae. How do we know that? Well, verse seven tells us, uh, you learned it from Epaphras, our dear fellow servant, who is a faithful minister of Christ on our behalf, and who also told us of your love in the spirit. Uh, I wonder how often we encourage uh, or thank those who have been instrumental in bringing the gospel message to us uh, or, or to others. How, how well do we kind of lift up, embolden those who strive to proclaim God's truth uh, among other people. I'll leave you to think about the answer to that, but I, I, I'm, I really like the fact that Paul and Timothy here have, have highlighted the work of Epaphras uh, and have, have raised his profile, if you like, not because they want to give him some superhuman um, glory, but because they, they recognize that God is at work in him and that through him, God is at work in others. And it's great to recognize that, but it's great to not, as I say, to build pride or arrogance, absolutely not, but just to uh, be able to say to people, look, I'm so grateful to you, so grateful for the work you're doing in that community, so grateful for the gospel, uh, the way that you're spreading the gospel message in that country or, or among that people group. It's great for us to be able to encourage one another uh, in that. Uh, he is a fellow minister of Christ on our behalf. So that sense of commissioning, that sense of sending out. Paul and Timothy have been about their work. People have come to know Christ through their ministry. And then they're being, they're being sent out. Epaphras wasn't the only one. But these people are then being sent out to uh, f to carry on, to, to pass on that message of salvation to others. And that's a glorious um, growth model that we would do well to adopt today as one person tells another who can tell another and so on and so on. Uh, so maybe that causes me the uncomfortable reflection of who have I told? Who have I ministered to for the first time? People who've never heard the gospel before or never accepted the gospel at least. Who are we sharing the reality and the truth of the gospel with? It's an uncomfortable question because I can't immediately think of anybody. But here's an inspiration then. Uh, that we follow the example of Paul following uh, and pointing to the example of Epaphras. Uh, let's uh, take on the message that we've heard from other people and let's pass it on to others. We're, we're um, competitors in the midst of a, a relay race, if you like. We've received the baton, but we now need to move that baton on to the next person. So with that in mind, let's pray. Uh, Father, thank you so much for the truth and beauty and magnificence of the gospel message that we've heard from whoever it was. Uh, we've received and accepted into our hearts and now we want to pass on to others. Please help us. Help us to identify uh, who you want us to go to and give us the words and um, attitude uh, to be able to share the gospel truthfully and lovingly. Amen. Thank you uh, so much uh, for reflecting with me. Um, I wish you well. I pray for you uh, and I covet your prayers for me as we seek to allow this gospel to go on spreading. Take care.